In this video, I'm going to talk about the final stage of the complement system, known as the membrane attack complex, or the formation thereof. Now, in the alternative pathway video, we looked at how C3B, which is common to all the pathways of complement, causes the formation of C3B, BB, 3B. This is important because it's a C5 convertase, which if you haven't guessed, means it converts C5 into C5A and C5B. Now C5 sits on the surface of a pathogen like this, and it's the site around which the membrane attack complex will be formed. So the C5 convertase catalyzes this reaction, C5A goes off and isn't important for this pathway, and C5B stays attached to the pathogen. Now this bit's pretty easy. Three molecules come in to join C5B, called C6, C7, and C8. And they form a complex called C5B678. This bit's also pretty easy. A whole lot of C9 molecules come in and join the party. Now as many of these can come in as is needed. This is usually about 10 to 16 molecules of C9, and this forms a membrane attack complex. I'll draw out how it goes together here. Here's a pathogen. And on its surface is the molecule C5B. Now the first three molecules to join this line up with C5B, and they're known as C6, 7, and 8. Then a series of C9s polymerize into this ring formation. These are all C9 molecules until it creates a circular pore. Now these pores compromise the membrane integrity of the pathogen, and if enough pores form, then the pathogen will die. And that's how complement helps protect the body from pathogens.